All right, I wanted to do a quick video to show you how to use column formatting to add a button into a list view to run a flow. So my schemes list here has a an instant flow set up to notify the submitter. So right now, if I want to run that flow, I need to select an item, go to the toolbar here, and the automate menu, and then select notify submitter of status, and then wait for this, and then click run flow. Uh, and that's not terrible. It's it's pretty easy to do once you know how to get to, once you know the path. But if you have people who are not using the site every day who may forget that, or if you have people who might need to do that a bunch of times for a bunch of different items in a list, then it's kind of tedious. So adding a column with a button is going to make things a little bit easier for them. Uh, so the first thing I want to do is add a column into the view here to hold that button. Now you can add a text column or a hyperlink column or whatever, but the kind of the cleanest way to do it is with a calculated column because then that column won't show up in the edit form where people might mess with the content of it or whatever. Um, so basically it's, it's a slightly safer and less intrusive way to do it. Uh, but it does require a couple extra steps. So first off, uh, I need to add that column and I'm just going to add it right here between submitted by and scheme type and I will select more because calculated is not one of the columns we have here. Uh, so what's going to show up is the classic column, create column page. So I'm going to call this notify submitter and make that a calculated column and in the formula, because the formula has to contain something, I'm just going to put equals and then two double quotes. So basically equals nothing. Um, and I'll share a link in the description to the page where I, I didn't come up with this on my own. This is actually the work of Chris Kent, who is like the godfather of column formatting. But anyway. Um, and then click OK. So now we have a new column. And for whatever reason, it does not put that in between where I want it, so I'm just going to move that over in between those columns where I want that to appear. There we go. And then I'm just going to rename that to make it you know, nice and readable. So notify space, submitter, good to go. All right, so uh, now that I have that, what I want to do is use column formatting to put a button in there to run a flow. Now, there is, in some environments, you might have a column formatter web part that you can use to do this. Uh, in the event you don't, I'm going to show you the way to do it manually. Um, well, actually, kind of just borrowing code from Microsoft. Um, so there is a page under the SharePoint developer site um, about advanced formatting concepts and one of the things that they tell talk about there is this create a button to launch a flow so what it's going to do is show this button that will send it to the manager and thankfully they provide a handy dandy JSON code that you need now column formatting view formatting uses JSON it's just it's not a foreign language it's just a way of structuring data um, so don't be too scared of it, but just know that when you're finding samples and copying and pasting, be careful about what you modify because some it's easy to mistakenly um, forget a comma or forget a curly brace or something, and it will just not work. Um, but what I'm going to do is simply copy this JSON code. And if we take a look, I'm, I'm not going to dissect this completely, but basically just to give you an idea of what this does. Uh, first off, there is a schema. This just tells it where to go to find the rules for column formatting. We're adding an element type of button, and that has a custom row action of execute flow. And then in the parameters for that action, we're providing it with the ID of the flow. So we're going to need to get the ID of the flow. We'll get to that. Um, and then it's got some other things here. There are some attributes. There is a style here. And then there are children. And children are basically sub-elements in that 
parent element. So there are sub elements within the button. One is a span, which has an icon. It's going to show that flow icon. I'll show you where you can change the icon to something else if you want to. Um, and then some style for that. And then a some text content, another span with text that will say send to manager. So what we'll end up with is a little flow icon and then the text send to manager. Now you can change send to manager to something else um, to fit your needs. So what I'm going to do is I've already copied that. I'm going to go back to our my escape planning, my schemes list here, and I'm going to click the drop down and go to column settings and format this column. There we go. And then I need to go to advanced mode. And I'm just going to erase what's there and control V to paste in the content. Now, if I hit preview, we can see there it is. That's the, there's the icon, there's the text. Now I need to modify this to run our flow because the, the flow ID that they have in there is not my flow. So how do I get that flow ID? Well, I go over to my flows and actually from the parent, my, the, the whole my flows list here is that notify submitter of status flow. So I'll open that up. And then in the URL, uh, you'll see um, basically make power automate environments default that. So after the environments, that is the ID of the environment you're in. And then you'll see slash flows. And then after slash flows and then slash that kind of between flows and details, not including the slashes, that is your flow ID. So I want to highlight that, copy it, go back over here and paste that right into, oh, that's a little touchy. So just remove what's there, control V, paste that in. So that's the ID for my flow. Now, I'll leave that flow icon there. It's for now. It's it's fine, um, but I do want to change that text content. So I don't want to say send to manager. I want it to say notify. Like you know, the column name is notify submitter. So I'll just say send email and hit save. And once I've saved that, I can close it now and. Basically, instead of clicking, selecting the item, going to automate, and blah, 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 all I need to do is click send email. And there is our flow to notify submitter of status. Pretty easy. Uh, I'll include the link to the, the page where the advanced formatting concepts page where I got that JSON code, as well as the page for the format only column trick. Um, now the first time you do this, it might take a moment or two for this is not terribly unusual. So I'm just going to cancel and try that again. Second time's the charm. There we go. So run flow and it's off and running. Now, if you do want to, this is a bonus, if you do want to change that icon, because I'm sending an email, if I want to change this from that little flow icon to an actual email icon, um, what I need to do is use a, go to the flycon.io website. And this is a, basically that icon that we're using is a Fluent icon. And this will show you all of the different Fluent icons that are available. And you can search for these. So if I search for email, here are some different email related icons. Maybe I want to use the, you know, that looks like mail forward. Um, You know what? I'm going to go with. It's kind of annoying that it's. Yeah, we'll just go with this one. So 
if you hover over this, you'll see there's the name. I can copy that name. And then we can edit our formatting. So go to the column again, column settings, format this column. And then I need to, for the child, there's icon name. And right now it says flow. If I change that by pasting in arrange by from, hit save, close. So now we have a little folder, or I'm sorry, a little email with the person icon there. So you can look, I'll include the link for that Flycon page as well. If you want to look at the other icons, there are lots of hundreds, if not thousands of different icons you can use. Um, but that is pretty much it. So it's pretty straightforward. The only things you need are kind of that, that, that sample code to copy and paste into your column formatting and the ID of your flow and you're good to go. So hopefully this was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, throw those into the, well, the comments down below. Uh, and I will answer them when I have time. Thanks and have a great day.